So we are back again with another free giveaway. This time it's a fast travel system to allow you to fast travel between points. So here we have this campfire, bonfire, site of grace, whatever you want to call it. We interact with it. Then we get the option to travel to it. If we run over to this signpost, which symbolizes a town, and interact with this blacksmith. You can see that that's added to our fast travel list. And then we can go to the town. We can go to the blacksmith, etc. And that is our fast travel. It also comes with this modular menu system. So if I go into our widgets, here we have a master button. So you can customize this to be how you want, and it will change all the buttons in the level. This allows for adding custom text. So if you don't want it to be any of the predefined options, so start, save, load game, quit, etc., And it allows for customization of the fonts. And then this handles common events that are there. So if you want to quit, if you want to open the main level, this isn't set up, but you can use this master button quite easily, quite simply. It plays a uniform animation across all of them, which you can change. This is just a super basic animation and a super basic sound. This can be changed inside each instance of the button. So if you want different sounds, etc. The actual setup itself is two functions inside a component, just adds the fast travel points to the component and to the actor, and then a travel system that just moves between them. And it's super easy to set up. Whatever interact function that you have, you just add the interactor, in this case it would be player character, get that component, add it to the fast travel list, and that's it. And they just need to have the fast travel component set up on both your character and the person they need to go to. Because in the construction script, we just set their location so that we have that detail already loaded. And then for the interaction, you can move this interaction one to a pause menu or any other sort of menu in the interaction one again we interact with the bonfire it adds it to our fast travel list and then we call the widget for fast travel and you can just move this to a pause menu or to an, an options menu if you want and this one just makes sure that the bonfire knows it's our player who is interacting with it same thing, construction strip sets up everything else. You can have a particle system so that the fire plays when you activate it, it doesn't play when it's not. Global functions set up just to make life a bit easier. Open widget and close widget, they just open and close a widget. And I don't have to, you don't have to call these five or six nodes every time you want to open or close a widget, so it just saves lots of time. And that's it. It's not much of a showcase because there's not much to showcase. It's just a super simple system that should make your game dev journey a bit easier. Any questions, reach out. And thanks again for the 300 subscribers. We'll carry on going 400 next and another giveaway. Have a great day.